Good evening, Nivola here again. I'm standing behind the bar tonight because I want to talk about my favourite cocktail, which is something I have at the end of a lot of days after work or um, a hard game of bowls or golf. I come home and have a rusty nail. Now, a rusty nail is equal parts of Drambuie and Scotch whisky. In this case, I've got some shivers. Now, I also make a concoction which I call a tetanus injection, which is an American sweet liqueur, in this case, wild turkey American honey, and a bourbon, <clears throat> which in this case is Four Roses bourbon, but might equally be uh, Wild Turkey, Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, any of those. And there are different variations of the sweeter American liqueur. And then there's one I call Leprechaun Sweat, Leprechaun Sweat, or some other bodily fluid, whatever you would like to call it. I call it Leprechaun Sweat. And here we've got this is the Dubliner, which is uh, a honeyed Irish whiskey. There's also Irish mist. And in this case, a, um, an Irish whiskey, Tullamore Dew. So they all have equal parts. So the way I start, I grab two or three chunks of ice. And I've put it in this glass which is Four Roses Bourbon. I visited Four Roses Bourbon. This is the glass they gave me the tasting at, and I brought it home from America with me. And then I'm going to add some Drambuie and some Chivas. I used to use one of these things, a measure. But I don't bother with that now, I just do it by eye. So I've got the Drambuie. Pour a, a slug of that in there. Grab the whiskey. Try and pour about the equal amount. So it balances it out. This is a rusty nail. And I've had so many of them that it's a wonder I haven't suffered from tetanus yet. Perhaps it's because I do have some tetanus injections at time. So what I like about it is it has the sweetness of the, the honey and uh, there's some herbal stuff in there too, heather or whatever. This is actually supposedly from the Isle of Skye. Uh, aged Scotch whisky, heather, honey, herbs and spices. Lovely stuff, Drambuie, just by itself. But you put a bit of scotch in it and it just gives it that little bite that balances it. It's really refreshing, really nice and very drinkable. Don't drink too many of them if you've got to drive, though, because we're talking about 40% uh, and 40%, so it's quite, quite alcoholic. But it's a lovely drink. It's a cocktail that's so easy to mix, as you've just seen, and I'd like to, you to give it a try, in whichever version. Scottish, American, Irish, and probably other countries as well. Cheers. Very nice.